Time now for the ridiculous. And I just have one question. What in the world is in the water at the EPA? There's been no shortage of scandal at the agency. The $40,000 soundproof booth for EPA's chief Scott Pruitt's office, his predilection for first class travel, renting rooms from lobbyists, a set of 12 pens that cost more than $1,500. The list goes on and on, as do multiple ethics inquiries from Congress and federal auditors. But the EPA's bizarre bar officially has been raised in just the last few days, including the news that Pruitt had an EPA staff member try to set up a meeting with the CEO of Chick-fil-A to get a franchise for his wife, possibly violating ethics rules. And now we've learned that two of Pruitt's closest aides have resigned. It recently came out that one of them did various non-EPA errands for Pruitt, including house hunting and trying to get him an old mattress from the Trump International Hotel in Washington. Today, The Atlantic Magazine broke the story of her resignation, and when a reporter reached out to the EPA for comment, a spokesman said to the reporter, and I quote, you have a great day, you're a piece of trash. Which, of course, is absurd, but it's kind of nice to see the Environmental Protection Agency expressing interest in the general idea of littering, which is at least something sort of in their purview. But here's what's been bothering me for two full days. Why did Scott Pruitt want an old hotel mattress? Now, I'm not making this up. The newly resigned aide testified about this to members of the House Oversight Committee, and I quote, as I remember, the administrator had spoken with someone at the Trump Hotel who had indicated that there could be a mattress that he could purchase, an old mattress that he could purchase. But that's the extent of the conversation that I can, that I can remember. And question, do you know why he'd want to purchase an old mattress from the Trump Hotel? Answer, I do not. I also do not. Who in their right mind and or not living in a dorm wants an old mattress from a hotel, one that's obviously been used a lot. Clearly, Scott Pruitt hasn't learned a thing from the Queer Eye, Queer Eye reboot. So, Tom, have you ever shopped for a mattress before? Uh, no. What? My, my last mattress I You bought. just said you didn't ever shop for a mattress? After my last divorce, I bought mine from an individual offline, okay. online. So let's never do that again. Uh, mattresses aren't the best thing to buy used. Seriously, I repeat, why would anyone want an old mattress, much less an old mattress, from a hotel? Has Scott Pruitt not seen any of those blacklight investigations? For a while, you couldn't turn on television without seeing one of those. Even Gordon Ramsay did one, for goodness sake. How much is this room? $250 a night, Friday and Saturday is $180 the rest of the week. Let me show you what $250 gets you at the Monticello. And turn the lights out. You see that? This black light shows up bodily fluids. That's, That's exactly disgusting. what you're seeing. I wouldn't want to lay on that bed. Where are these mattresses come from, Philip? The house in Arizona. Your house? Yes. Wow. Those two holes there? That's cigarette holes. Uh-oh. Burns. What did Scott Pruitt want with an old hotel mattress? Why are his aides resigning when he's the one who flew first class on the taxpayer's dime? If you bite into a Chick-fil-A sandwich in a soundproof booth, does it still make a sound? These are mysteries that may never be solved. For now, I guess we'll just have to sleep on it on The Ridiculous. Yes, we shall. Thanks for watching 360. That's all the time we have.